Hey Stampers, I'm back with uh, another page in our gorgeous album. Uh, I will have to show you this quickly. I uh, We've done this one and this one. And this one I did and I forgot to press the record button. So on this one I just did a simple page over, absolutely gorgeous. And then this little booklet. I haven't done the inside. I didn't want to bulk it out too much, but enough space for two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight photographs there. And then I left this so something can be tucked behind. And that slots inside its belly band there, which is nicely decorated. Oops. There we go. And that sits there. And then another space here for two photos. So you could get another two photos on there. And then you flip it over. All this, I thought, was... I've mounted this ephemera card on some Ricoco rows. It goes pretty well with that. And added these. And these open up either way. And inside here, I've just tucked away another photo mat there. With a greetings message. I've left this so this can be... Oh, it should have been. There you go. You can tuck that all the way up to the top. Little greeting thing with some little cut parts in there as well. And that just sits over there. And lots of long, nice photographs there. And then I realised that I wasn't recording. So I've already done two pages. But we're going to crack on. I'm going to do another one. As we've still got another two pages to go in our album. So let's get our tape added and then we can cut our paper. I like to put the tape on first, then I know where I'm. Oh, I haven't put my light on. There we go. Then there was light. Let's try not to go over that score line. Pain exploded in my leg the other day. Oh my word, I've never felt so much pain in all my life. It was worse than giving birth to a child. Oh, honestly. And I love my kids. Right, we know that these pages are nine and a half by seven three quarters. I've literally got a label on my wall <laughs> that I've had to pin down. So we're gonna need some of the long paper. Oh, this one here. Whoops. That's a nice strip, but we need something quite long. Oh, let's use that actually. Should be long enough. Keep all my papers clipped together, otherwise they'll end up sprawled up all over the place. Oh, it's definitely long enough. And look at that, it's the perfect length. So we need two and we need two at just short of half an inch. And one at just short of three quarters of an inch. So I do three and three one three and three eighths and five and five eighths. And the reason I have to do it on this trimmer is because my other one won't. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have the roses on this side. Da -da -da. 
yeah, I will be doing albums in the future. Some I will film, some I won't. It just depends. And you know when I do a walkthrough anyway, that all, oh my goodness. That's it, lift up a little wee bit. Take that off before it gets too stuck down. That's better, and then I will be selling the albums. So if any one of them catch your eye, and it's only for the materials I use, I never ever, it's only to cover costs, it's not for my time, because my time is free, because I enjoy doing it so much. Perfect. Just that when we get them in an the album, they look gorgeous, so make sure because they're going to get scored and fold both ways so this is the way this is going to go in my album and this is for the extra bulkiness so let's get some pages then Ooh, what's this one is that not tall enough but wide enough I'm literally down to my last two sheets. Well, it wasn't a full packet, it was only like half a packet this was when I opened it, so I want I'm gonna do a flap flap. So what do we say? Oh and the measurements for that page, the two pages were pages two front and back. Where's my pen? The back one. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot. I forgot to write it down. Let me just check two seconds with you now. Uh, that's the front. And on the back, this one was... <clears throat> uh, Six and three quarters because of the half inch by nine and a half. Short side half an inch. And then this belly band piece was two and a half by ten and a half. Long side half inch both ends. So that would that they're the measurements for the black card stuff that I used on page two front and page two back, and now we're on page three front. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. That can go back in there, and we need. What am I going to do now? Halfway down, maybe say. There. I got 40 minutes, girls, because they're my chicken wings are coming out the oven. Ooh. So if I say seven and a half, take it to six. So seven and a half, say. Two at seven and a half by. Four and three eighths, and then we'll score the short side at half an inch, and then we'll have a piece that is. Oh, they are that piece. Oh, yeah, there's it. Um, I'll use an off cut, which will be probably this one. That would give me half inch, I think, either side. So seven and three quarters. 
Yeah, eight and three quarters we'll need. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Just measure that again. That's nine inches. So that is seven and three quarters. So we need eight and three quarters. That way we can just score that. And then that will be, uh, we'll take this down to five. Eight and three quarters by five. Score three sides, half an inch. So that's the front for this one. So, right, two and seven and a half. Let's see if we can get that out of one sheet, actually. So, take this down to five. That is seven. We went seven and a half. So, that's four and a half off. And then we want four and three eighths. Am I doing this right? I don't know. Two. Let me just check. Seven. Nope, I've done something wrong. I'm gonna cut that. Oh, no, that's right. We're going to score these at half an inch. Three and a half, three and seven. Ah, I know what I've done. The that's right, half an inch. But they only need to be three and uh, seven, three and seven eighths each, not four and three eighths. So I need to trim them off a little bit more. Let's get them on the little chopper. <laughs> So I need these to be three and seven eighths, not the four and three eighths. So let's try. Right. So it ha seven and a half by three and seven eighths. That way it fits across the page halfway. Can we get there? So. These will now both fit across this page, side by side, and not interrupting our, so I can glue these on. Right at the top, right along this edge. And this one should fit bang on next door.
that will open. And we will then make this into a pocket by let's go. I've got to take it down first to five inches. at half an inch and I'll mark because this was slightly bigger so half an inch which is so that takes it down to eight and a half so eight and a half and I need it to be eight and three quarters I think the score is at three quarters I think that's about right going to chop the other half an inch off. I'm not going to score three times. Like I said there, I'm going to just score. I'm going to take it down to four because I don't want a really deep, deep pocket. And then we're going to keep. So let me take that down to four. And we're going to score short long side half inch both ends so eight and so that's first pick two at seven and a half by three and seven eighths short yeah long side half an inch and then one at eight and three quarters by four half inch long side both ends I'll we'll get there in the end and then this will go on here and be glued down. I might just actually score this at an extra eighth of an inch because I don't want it interrupting with my paper so the page won't open. Perfect. Test that again. Oh, that's going to be lovely. We've kept it away from this side. Perfect. If my husband shouts me, it's because the chicken's done, and then I'll have to go. So it'll only be a short video tonight, girls and boys. Because I don't want burnt offerings for my tea. <laughs> it's Sunday, I gotta do the blog as well. So they will come down. I'd love to have add something nice and fancy along the bottom there. Maybe maybe let's see if I can. Halfway. I'm roughly in the middle. Rough 
actually. Halfway. talking right we need some magnets oh there goes the battery and it's slip over quickly i knew it was low i bought like i say drain them down and charge them back up from empty to get the best amount of staying power uh magnets use these tiny little ones here. They strong. love to hear them clash down. I think it's great. Whoops. Getting around that OCD. Getting around that OCD. So maybe we could add two little pockets on there as well. Not too wide enough. So they are four Three and seven eighths, so we need two. <coughs> Four and seven eighths. side half inch both ends so another two there perfect now so let's score these both half an inch quite in the middle is it? Ugh. Oh, and this one isn't either. Wow, look at that. You can even feel it through that paper. Mm. 
No, oh, that one isn't either. back in a flash if you bear with me for two seconds I will be straight back you won't, you won't see the difference in the video apart from a little glitch going I'm back so time for tea back in a sec right I've had my tea and I'm back <laughs> so we've added a couple of little pockets there so what we could do is make some let's see what size this is because that's three and seven eighths so let's do this by six that way we've got two of them four and a half and then we're just going to fold these in half and have some three three by four and a half inch little booklets inside there Mr. Boyce being noisy as usual. Thanks. Let's see what this pattern shape is. along there perfectly with a little nibble coming off the end. Try and keep it straight. Perfect. needs a little fraction taken up there as well. Straighten that up. Let's try that. Oh, still a little fraction. So let's take that little curve off there.
So let's get that glued in. Cute little uh, pocket now. Let's get rid of these bits. I should remember to do this first hand, should I? Not after the fact. <laughs> But they got something nice and pretty to look at now. Ah, mm. uh, right. What else can we do on this? Let's do some card stuff now. I have to get things moved out of the way. Right, white card stuff. want to literally do it all in white so that's three and seven eighths let's do these at three and seven eighths and then we can add some designer series paper as well oh let's make sure they're three and seven eighths first yeah. Try that because we've got to give it a little border, so we've got to do three and three quarters. By three and three quarters. as well. Let's do so because they are by where's that measurement card? Seven or oh, the seven now aren't they? So that leaves us with Do the same for a second and see where we are. So, because they, they can be photomatted on as well. So, ooh, I'd say I tell you what, let's see. Put one here. a gap of three and a quarter so let's do three and one eight by three and seven eight so three and one eight three and three quarters by three and one eight Love it. I love it, love it, love it. Place 
a gorgeous piece of designer so it's paper on that. down just so Chop them off now. Perfect. Julie sealed in. Oh, they are so pretty. Oh, look. Oh, going over a little bit. Oh, let's get some scissors. It's quick. Perfect. Jing, 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 jing the bells, jing the bells, jing the bells. Oh, oh, let's. Oh. 
to our paper again. Let's open this drawer. So that is seven. So we can take it down to five and a half by three and three quarters. down there. Same with this side. And I'll be gluing it on there. You can still see that gorgeous little deer. Oh, we could have them playing. Oh, let's have this side. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. way. Let's see what we've got in here. That's one of the foldovers. Let's uh, an envelope with bits in. What have we got here? Santa's on the wonk though. Oh, that's wide enough. Could have that Christmas along there. On the top of the candle. That's two inches. Let's do it for one and seven eighths. Seven eight. Oh, just took the top of that little birdie's head off. So, there we go. Incorporate. Excuse me. I had nine chicken wings. Oh, that was lovely. The barbecue sauce. Right, uh, ladies, ladies, ladies. Okay, we need to grab the tissue. Sorry about this. Uh, I don't want you to see me. Uh. 
Oh, sorry about that. Allergies, allergies. Who likes that film, Steel Magnolia? Oh my gosh, I love that film. When it first came out, me and the kids used to sit on the sofa and just binge watch it over and over and over and over and over. That and the colour purple. Oh, yes, I love it. Right, well, if they fit on there, they were the same width. Ooh, ooh, I can trim that a little bit more. Two of those, I think, with the cat on, I think. Oh, did I? I could swear I had two of the cat on. No. I could have swore I had a... Some of the roses, that, and the bunny. See that one went there, easy. So did that. Right. Cat, candle, bunny, flowers and tree. <coughs> I've got a right frog in my throat. It's two of them that I've got, isn't it? Look. One's from the 12 by 12, one's from the 8 by 8. Look through our, we would have two of the, there it is, look, see, trim them down, they are from these books, look at this beautiful scenery, I wonder if that would fit on that card, yes it would, so let's take that one out, Look, you see, you've got DSP in here. I'm going to pull that one out because that can be used for DSP. Now these are all the doubles, so let's do the same in this one. Another one of those beautiful scenes. Christmas tree and the DSP. Oh, look at that. It's ripped that. Oh, be careful, Gainer. There's the other cat, see? I thought I had two cats, but both one's been mounted. So the scene's going on there. That's gonna one of those is gonna go on their booklets as well. Two and seven eighths by three, four and four and a half, aren't they? So, so three, two and seven eighths by four and 
three eighths. And I need to cut this seam. This one out four and three eight. Just missing the top of the steeple. Take off the green first. Perfect. Keep the greeting because we can attach that on somewhere. And the greeting can go back along there if we wide it to. Or we can put it along the top of this one. No, we'll save that for something else because it's already got the, the Christmas at the bottom. Y'all ready for this? I know I'm in now. Nice little border. And I'll leave them plain. We can keep these tickets in the back as well. And then we're going to have is there enough? there's enough on there we need to add onto our little pulley and again we need to do the same thing chop it off my pencil so again I'm going to be doing it perfecto I'm on filming, baby. Okay. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, it's gone. He's, uh, he's left without asking what he wanted. Right, let me just make sure I'm perfect. I haven't gone over there either. Oh. They're gorgeously finished. I'm going to pop these little pieces in the bin just off those because these are perfect still. You can use these up to make cards. So let's attach them all together now. I've got a little 
little circles there. Little cards there. We'll get, we'll use them up right now. We're going. Oh my goodness! How beautiful does those two pages look? I love them. So paper for here. Let's see through. Because I've got some scenes here. Don't want half a scene doing that wide enough for one. Oh, how sweet is that beautiful little robin? Oh my goodness, that is the cutest bird I've ever seen. Especially on these Christmas papers, absolutely stunning. Cool. That's right, slant. Um, not for that side, not for yet. Let's get all our bits together. Keep them together. These can go on with these. Wow, is my clip wide enough even? Just. Oof. Oh, look at that. Perfect width. But you can tell that the pattern was running. Let's see what we've got here. We've got that. Just perfectly. The gap is four, so let's do that three and seven eighths. How cute are they? So it's that side I need to chop. So That's how it was. But why is it? Huh? That's strange, isn't it? Should have been like that. having that on that side but how cute instead we're having it on that side even cuter sorry to cover you up squirrels Peel them back. No, I didn't, did I? Ah, oh. they were still strong. They're really strong magnets. Look at these. They just oh. very, very strong for the tiny little ones they are. 
can't remember where I read them from. I would leave on there because it's a metal stand. So now we just need a piece to go in. And I think I might just use white. So. Literally got to measure there. So seven and five eighths. They just say five and a quarter, five and a half, say. Give a little bit more of that. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, look, see, it's going. I don't really want to chop any more off, though. No, I'm not going to.
we have another page closed absolutely gorgeous right come back on the next video girls and boys and we shall finish off another page okay that is done for the night <laughs> Well, you'll probably see me in these clothes because I'll just move on to the next video while I've got over. I've got to charge my batteries. Once they're done, I shall be back. So, leave a thumbs up and a share. That'd be amazing. Oh, let me see. Did I continue to get some fresh cards stuck out? Um, did I miss page three front? Oh, yes, two of those. So we've got the two flaps, we've got the two pockets. I didn't add extras, but you need to add a label size and then DSP to, to cover. So that's the only thing. Right, we'll move on to page three, the back. One, two, three more, and then we should be all done and dusted. Then we can move back on to cards. But you'll have a card every other night and a, a, an album every other night. So let me get all my bits together. Oh, that's curious. That's killing me now, actually, that is. I want to see if I've got that squirrel paper. Yes, I do. And it was right. We did it. Ah, now I get it. Now I get it indeed. That bit was off the squirrel page. Not off the blue bit that was on the other side. That was pink. This is why I couldn't understand why I was getting it wrong. Because the squirrels were on this side. See, that would be there. And that little dot there would have been the end of those pearls. And they would have been there. And there's those little bunny bits. Ah, see? I have one, two. I have two fold sheets, and this one has literally just got one slice taken off the end, which was that pink border. So that's left of the 12 by 12. And we have got one. Two, three, four, four full pieces of the eight by eight, and then one, two, three, the bar, rather large pieces, and a couple of off cuts. So we're not doing too bad, and we've only got three pages to go. Nice, nice, nice. Um, we've got these gorgeous still. We're going to, I need something to incorporate these now, so let me measure these. They're like five and a half by five and a half, so ooh, game of thinking. Maybe a little another waterfall card with some five and a half by five and a half pieces. Or we could even score half an inch and use these because we could then journal on the back as well. Perfect, oh, beautiful, stunning. Maybe we should do five and six by five and a half and then incorporate one in each corner like I have done before now and then there may be a little booklet then on the top to keep them all together. I don't know, you come back on the next video and see. Thanks for watching, till next time. Bye.